This is the Dog Scholar. I've got a question. I've got a question. I've got a question for you boys. Can dogs smell fear? No. What do you think, Danny? <laughs> Did you just say no? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> My dog protect me. Absolutely effing not. <laughs> and especially on a Saturday. <laughs> Does my dog love me? This is the one that is most likely to look like they are. We previously thought that it was only primates that had those kind of abilities, but dogs do it as well. So the amygdala, the fear bit goes blah blah blah. blah. That's right. exactly what it does, it makes that noise. <laughs> I hear that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate, but I can't look at it. I'm not ready for it. It was well difficult, but I'm yeah. It was literally like being there again. In the same situation, the dog shouldn't do the same behaviour. Okay, so I'll put a question out on social media. Amy from Cockermouth. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Please hope that makes the final cut. <laughs> Understanding how your dog learns and how it, how their minds work, it all aids towards having a much better relationship with your dog and having a happier dog as well. You got a bit of bagel there. Have I? Yeah. Why do you only tell me now? We're halfway through the episode. I don't think you're going to pick it up. It's only a very small bit of bagel. <laughs> don't worry, it's not as so though anybody's watching you on the screen. <laughs> I'm the trainer. I'm the neuroscientist. I'm the expert. And this is the Dog Scholar. Bosh. <laughs>